hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to use magic wand tool in the app high paint so this is the high paint app and if you are searching where is the magic wand tool this is how it looks for some it looks like this if if it is a case this is the lasso tool some uh, it's like option like we can change from lasso to magic wand tool like this so if you don't find magic wand tool then click on the lasso tool you will find the magic wand tool so now i will show you how to use this and the features under this magic wand tool one by one so first before starting anything i'm just going to create an example for uh, so that you can understand better i'm going to create a simple abstract art using the basic um, you know shapes like this so i'm going to create two layers so that you can understand better so in the first layer i'm using the basic shapes and some lines to create the abstract art like this yes and in the second layer i am going to draw leaf structures so i'm just going to create a new layer and i'm going to use something like green color and going to draw some abstract leaves and so basically i'm using only two three brushes here to create this abstract so don't judge my hard work because this is only for the example so i want some q uh, you know something quick and that's why i used this abstract art so if you ask what is magic wand tool this is for selecting any particular shape so here we have the abstract artwork and let's start with the magic wand tool so this is the first layer where we have the abstract shapes and i'm just going to change the background color a little bit okay so in the first layer we have the abstract shapes and lines now if you want to select any particular shape in, uh, then go, click on this magic wand tool and here we have so many options i will tell you one by one here so if you find a single diamond shape like this which means a single layer means if you make selection when it have multiple multiple um, you know diamond shape which means it consider all the layers instead of considering the one layer for example in the first layer we have only the abstract shape but when i click the uh, all layers option and select any particular area here you can see it consider the leaf shape as well but our leaf shape is on this uh, second layer why it have selected uh, that uh, you know except that leaf shape means because we used that um, uh, multiple layers option so to avoid that if you want to consider only that area for selection click on the single diamond and use so here if i select this shape you can see it didn't consider the leaf shape because i kept the uh, number of layers in a single like considering only the layer in which we have we are at present so this is the reason why we have this option and here you can see it have selected only this area now extended it just means um, when we make a selection it selects something extra some pixel extra for example i will show you this remove the selection and if you yeah remove the selection and now here you can see it selected extra compared to the uh, actual selection and here you can see in the diamond we have four dots if you have seen this as four dot it will select all the relevant details like i only selected that shape but um, extra two areas also got selected because we have choose that if you keep this as a single diamond 
then it going to select only this area so yeah that's the re uh, reason between these two as well so if you don't want all the areas to be selected then don't keep all the dots you have to keep it as single dot in this area and extended edges what is the extended edges now i'm increasing the extended edges value to 4 pixel and if i make selection here you can see out of the selection area there is few pixel which has been selected so that's it um, you know that's have been done by this extended edges so if we keep this as zero then here you can see the only selected that shape if i keep that into five pixel it counts five pixel extra and select all this area and again i prefer selecting uh, only particular area so keep the diamond as single dot uh, don't use this all dots because it may select extra areas compared to the uh, target that we want to select so keep it as zero mostly and keep that dot single dotter and keep the number of layers as single so this is the basic thing you have to follow for the magic one tool now with all the um, holes I told I have selected this black area so I'm going to select all this black area and I'm going to create new layer and make it as a clipping layer for this layer and I'm going to add some texture you can either create a clipping layer or just create a new layer why uh, we are selecting is if you want to add some details texture you can add easily without disturbing any other details in that layer that's why we need this uh, selection tool more often especially the magic wand tool and here I will show you some example like I'm creating new layer to add this texture I just selected that details and adding the texture here you can see if I do texture out of that selection it will not do because only selected area is active now only we can apply the details in that area so here you can see here it applies and here it must. so why you should not do the um, texture in the same area i will show you now now i selected these black color details and i am on the same layer and i will add the texture here so i'm in the same layer and i'm adding the texture so it's okay to add texture now but if you want to make selection of that shape again it is difficult for you to select now i explain so we have selected this now i'm going to clear the selection now i'm going to select again i'm going to select this area again click on this magic wand tool and click here you can see it considers the details of the texture so avoid adding details on the same layer you can select the layer uh, uh, which shape which shape which layer uh, you have the details go to that layer and make a selection and create a new layer then add details don't add details on the same layer so that's one thing about the magic wand tool because if you add any texture details on that layer and if you want to use that shape further it is difficult to uh, difficult for you to use because of this thing so create a separate layer for adding details so we have some more features uh, under the magic wand tool i will show you that now one more thing is invert selection for example i am selecting this area here you can see i have selected this shape and if i want to add details here here you can see i am creating a basic detail here it's add details in that area alone now if i do the invert option here you can see i just selected this area and click on the invert option present here this is the invert click on this and if i do that now all this um, area except the selection got selected now you can see all the areas except that shape got selected because of the invert option so whatever area you have selected 
got inverter due to the invert option and now all the ex uh, areas except that shape are active and you can add details on that so that's the thing about the inverse section so next if you make any selection and if you want to clear just click on the clear option next to the inverse uh, invert option click on that and the selected area will be deselected next one is feather so if you want to feather it out like click on the feather i have selected the leaf area i'm on that layer and if you click on the feather and increase the value some more pixels from the selection will be increased uh, i mean added to the selection and it will be like a gradient faded uh, selection like um, when you simply select using the magic wand tool you have the hard edges of uh, considering only the shapes that you have selected but when you use avoid using the clipping here now i'll show when you add the feathering it will gradually fade out in that area here you can see there is no hard um, edges for that uh, texture that I apply because of this feather out here you can see it uh, the selection area will be gradually um, fade so that's the thing about the fe uh, feather option now next one is duplicate so I'm just selecting this area next to the feather is duplicate when you click on this duplicate whatever selected for example here the leaf area is selected it is again pasted or duplicated or copied to the new layer only that selected a detail then you can add uh, that detail into your new detail for your abstract art by changing the location making transform a little bit next again i'm selecting the leaf shape and if you want to click the cut it will be removed from that layer and pasted on the new layer separately and again you can make changes more like this and using the uh, once you uh, click on that cut the transform tool will be activated and you can do all this transform details like distort or you can simply deform the shape this is actually a mess tool so you can do anything like this so yeah you can do so much thing using the transform tool i will create a separate video for the transform tool for now with magic wand tool and cut option in that you can simply cut the uh, selected area and paste in the new layer and make sure what are your details choosing for the selection it should be a solid shape otherwise um, if you have so many texture in this then it is hard to select that area next comes the delete if you want if you click the delete you will uh, delete the selected area selected details and transform again as i told using the transform option you can move the details somewhere and make some changes and you can do all those things make a mess transform or you can flip horizontally vertically rotate and do all those things um, with this selected details using the transform tool under the magic wand tool so that's the thing about magic wand tool and transform next one is selection transformation if you click on the selection transformation so for example i have selected this leaf area but it will not consider the details but it will consider only the selected shape like i have selected the leaf shape so here you can see the selection area will be moved to the new location as per uh, what you have what you do and you can add that area add details to that area like this easily what we are doing is actually we are only using the shape 
uh, of the selection we are no, not using the um, actual details so that's the thing about the selection transformation we are actually moving the area that we selected and the last one is extend selection this is similar to extend edges so if you select any particular area and click on the extend selection you can increase the value by increasing this parameter also if you don't want the hard corner then you can click on this rounded corner option under this here you can see we, here we have hard corner short corners and if you keep the round rounded corner option it will be rounded all the details corners edges will be in the rounded shape with the rounded corner otherwise it will be in your actual sharp shape so that's the thing about the extent selection so here i have explained all the details how to use them under the magic wand tool hope it will be useful for you if so subscribe to my channel also like this video share with your friends and tell me in the comment what are the uh, tutorial uh, you want and I have explained all this and in the next video I will try to explain about the laser tool. Thank you for watching. Take care.